So yesterday evening, I tweeted about Python libraries for doing statistics. And the very next day, I saw that the number of likes kind of went viral. And so I thought that it would be probably interesting to many of the viewers on YouTube. And so therefore, today I'm going to record a very quick video showing you some of the popular Python libraries that you could use for performing statistical analysis. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. So the first library that I mentioned here is the Penguin Python library. And I've actually made a quick video about that, showing you how to use this awesome library to perform several of the common statistical analysis in Python. And so you could definitely check this video out and I'll provide you the links in the video description. And so let's head over to the Penguin's website here. And so this is the front page. And here you can see that it provides a wide range of functionalities for you to perform. And so some of the common statistical analysis such as ANOVA, t-test, Bayesian stats, chi-square tests, etc. Even plots could also be created here in Penguin. And so here are some example code that you could use for performing some t-tests. And so you could follow along here for a 10 minute guide on how you could get started. All right, and it also comes pre-equipped with this QQ plot that you could test for the normality of your data set. This is for ANOVA. And you could also build some simple linear regression here as well. All right, and so do check out this Python library and also check out this video that I made quite some time ago in May of 2021. And so the second library that I talked about is the stats models. And the great thing about this is the statistical summary that comes out here, as you can see. It provides a very in-depth analysis of the various statistical parameters of your model. And let's have a look further. So you can see that they're pretty detailed. And let's check out the examples here. So they provide you some example code for you to get started. And they're conveniently grouped according to functionalities. Like for example, here you can make some regression plots, box plot, or even do some non-parametric analysis as well. Okay, so you can see here that there are quite a few functionalities that you could perform here in the stats models. And so personally, I've used stats model for performing some basic linear regression, and I really like the statistical output that came out of it. And so you could check out this library, and I'll provide you the link as well in the video description. And let's hop on to the next one. So this one is quite basic, and it comes pre-equipped with the Python standard library. So nothing for you to install, so it already comes with your Python. And so you can see a list here in the documentation some of the common statistical functions that you could use, such as performing some basic quantiles, some basic arithmetic mean, median, mode, calculation. Okay, so these are the examples on how you could perform such analysis. More examples here. Okay, so not feature-packed, but it allows you to perform some basic statistical calculations. So no t-test, no ANOVA here. Let's hop on to the next one. And so this one comes from the SciPy library. And so let's have a look at some of the statistical functions that SciPy includes. So here you can see that it has some probability distributions functions, some basic summary and frequency statistics, some correlation functions and statistical tests, as well as some kernel density estimation functionalities. Let's have a look at the probability distributions. So these are some of the functionalities here. These are for continuous distributions. And you can see there is an exhaustive list here. Multivariate distributions, discrete distributions, some basic summary statistics. You could even calculate the kurtosis. So this is more in-depth than the one provided by the Python standard library. And you can see that the list is quite exhaustive. And you could also perform t-tests as well here. Crisco Wallace. So it has some functionalities for performing parametrics and non-parametric statistical analysis. And these are some quasi Monte Carlo. So you can see that the list is pretty exhaustive. And let's hop over to the next one. 
and this is, and this one is provided by NumPy, and you can see here that the number of functionalities for performing statistical analysis is quite limited compared to the SciPy one. Some handy functionalities here are the ones that allow you to calculate the median, mean, standard deviation, and also the variance, while at the same time ignoring the missing values. So this comes in handy when you have missing data in your data set. Okay, so some basic correlation functions, histograms. Okay, so not that feature rich, but still it might be useful as well. So briefly, I saw some lists here that mentions about some other statistical libraries that I did not mention in the tweet. So let's have a look here. So there is this one, the Bayesian statistical modeling and also probabilistic machine learning. Let's have a look here at Pi MC3. So this one provides you the ability to perform probabilistic programming in Python. So it has some probability distributions, Gaussian processes, variational inference. They even publish it in PeerJ, Computer Science. All right, and so let's have a look at some of the examples here. All right, so my first impression here is that it's very nicely formatted. And so there are quite a lot of examples that you could follow along. Let's have a look at here. So you could see that it's essentially a Jupyter Notebook and they provide you with some example data set that is randomly generated and then it allows them to create these plots and also some other analysis as demonstrated here. And so you could play around with some of the examples and tutorials as well. And so I'll provide you the link of this PyMC3 as well in the video, in the video description. And let's have a look back at the tweet. There were a couple of suggestions. Let's have a look. So Francois suggested this hoteling plot. Let's have a look at it. So in some of the research that I previously implemented, one of our work, we used the hoteling plot to examine the outliers in the predicted results. And so, and so this particular library would come in handy in allowing us to do that in an automated way because they already have the functions to support that. Pretty neat and it's built on top of Plotly so the plots are pretty interactive. All right and so this is a quick video and feel free to head over to the tweet here that I mentioned about Python libraries for doing statistics and please drop a comment suggest some of the libraries that you love to use for performing statistical analysis in python if you're finding value in this video please smash the like button subscribe if you haven't already hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video and as always the best way to learn data science is to do data science and please enjoy the journey